Hey, you. Yeah, you. What are you doing on the ground? You should be up here running with me. It'll be fun, maybe. Let's go. I'll show you around. Check it out. Look at that. Why do I sound like Joe Biden's impersonation? Like, I don't know. But come run with me. It'll be fun, I promise. Let's have a blast. We're coming up on the first epic view. We've got like, behold. All right, we're half a mile in uh, on the left-hand loop of the Claremont Wilderness Loop. I've done this quite a few times um, and actually recently set the weight group record for this loop. We've got Mr. Hawk flying over there. Pretty cool guy. Uh, just taking a walking break right now. It's getting back into shape. We're having fun. It's a little warm outside, but you know, we got some moisture wicking material. We'll be fine. We're coming up on the uh, one mile mark and so far, pretty beautiful day. If I don't say so myself, we're having fun, right? I think so. Ah, uh, yes, the great outdoors. Oops, we got a uh, Gotta watch out for those out here. Yeah, here's the one mile mark. Yeah, I don't really feel like going back down to 170 pounds and breaking some of my old PRs from high school. So I'm having fun at this size. Still get to enjoy the great outdoors. We can see the first junction. We're gonna go left or right. We're gonna go right when we get there. That'll be after about seven or 800 feet of climbing. So good way to start the run. Then it goes into rolling hills though. A little bit easier, take a break. And then it's all downhill for the last like two miles. So starts hard, enjoyable in the middle and just a cakewalk on the way back. Just have to watch out, you don't blow out your quads. So uh, yeah, that's the tricky part about downhill. Like cardio wise, not too bad but like legs wise, it can mess them up. So just uh, have a good running form and be safe. And we're gonna continue going up this hill. And enjoying the views, of course. One and a half miles, that means we're getting close. Should be about 1.7 to the first junction. But you can tell the views are getting better. Wow. All right, the first tea. We'll stop here for a second. Catch your breath, enjoy the views. Pretty fun. Let's go check out the views from the other side too. That was a long enough break. Time to continue running.
Nice bench. Behold, a reward or something like that. Good view. Nice clouds today. All right, we're going up a sneaky path. Oh. I think it's done. Ooh, my hair is a, a whole sort of thing. Let's go back. Maybe we can get a nice view from over here somewhere. There we go. Bye bye. I'm halfway through right now. Let's keep on going, shall we? Now we're on mostly the downhill, so pretty easy chilling here. Uh, we have like one more slight uphill, but we're fine. We're not gonna go that way. We're gonna keep on going straight. Also, we're in the shade now, so I'm just gonna kind of take a break and walk, you know? Not every day has to be go hard 100%. Sometimes the whole point is going out and enjoying it because if I didn't want to be outside, I'd just be running on a treadmill. So if I'm coming outside, I should stop and enjoy the outside, right? It's like a two for one. You get your lovely views for the day. Well, shady area right now and a workout and you're having fun and it also makes you want to come back and do it again because if you had fun the first time the second time is probably even better right uh, yeah and that's what's going on let's continue walking i see some birds circling overhead they might be thinking oh my gosh there's this red-headed guy out there it's looking kind of weak maybe he's gonna fall maybe uh it'll be some vulture time but nope i'm okay we're almost at mile three which is right up here I'll show you just to prove it and yeah, we'll keep on going. So enjoy the run with me so far. Yeah. See, mile three. Beware of chair. Yelp. It's a yelp sign. More chair. Don't stop. We're coming up on a more forested part. This half of the run was by a creek, I think. So a lot more trees, a lot of oaks. And uh, yeah, just a lot more shade, usually. Now it's sunny again. Ew, gross, sun, skin cancer. Not good, but it did put sunscreen on, which is good. So it should be okay. But really, 
I should have worn a hat. Nice big old hat. Nothing works better than a hat. That's what I have to say about that. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go back downhill, but if we went uphill, we'd make it to Potato Mountain, which I'll do one day. Actually bring a potato up there. Uh, I do technically have also the heavy course record for getting to the top of Potato Mountain, but I haven't done it with an actual potato. So stay tuned, another potato. We'll crest that mountain, Let's keep on running. Also, it's pretty much all downhill from now, so it's, depending on the day, either push really hard for that course record that I got, or just kind of chill and accumulate some, like, pounding on the legs just to, you know, not burn yourself out for the rest of the week. But also, one of the toughest things about running, like, ultra marathons is the downhill. Your legs give out. Like, after you've done tens of thousands of feet of downhill, your legs don't work so good anymore. So actually practicing the downhill is honestly, I think, even more important than practicing the uphill. Because uphill, eventually you're forced to just walk, right? Um, unless you're like a total pro, but even the pros power hike. So it's really the downhills that can just completely stop your entire race in its tracks, which is what happened to me on my first 100 miler. So I'm really glad to practice some downhills and make sure my legs can actually put up with uh, all the pounding that goes with being 210 pounds plopping down a mountain. So yeah, let's uh, continue the downhill. And for reference right now, we're going about 720 pace downhill. Uh, when I'm pushing, it'll be closer to six, but right now I'm just letting myself roll down the hill and uh, not get hurt and enjoy the day. And that's my plan. Yep, still 720 pace. Yeah. It's a wild wife. Yes. Oh yeah. Mwah. Uh well, I'm continuing to run down. Okay. Should I turn on this? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright, this is when you know you're getting kind of close to the end. You really start to get to the foresty area, which is kind of nice, it's kind of cool. Going through like tree caves. Well, we're almost done. We almost made it back. So that was fun. Uh, thanks for joining along this wonderful loop with me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next run. All right, bye.